Hi, this is Jacob with marketingplaybook.co, and today we're taking a look at keyword research. We're going to be covering three main ways for creating keywords, and those are going to be AdWords Keyword Suggestion Tool, Google Search Suggestions, and of course your brain. Now this is not a keyword uh, research for SEO. When it comes to doing SEO research, we recommend a far different strategy and actually using far more paid tools. In this instance, however, we're just going to be using free tools for, to find the keywords that we want for our PPC campaigns. And even with the PPC campaigns, most experts out there like myself, uh, we do use a lot of paid tools and those paid tools are generally spy tools that help us uncover keywords that competition is bidding on as well as a multitude of other things such as spying on ad copy and seeing how long people have been using that ad copy and writing ads around that. But uh, for this purpose we're going to be showing you how, how most people can go about generating quite a bit of keywords and, and finding keywords that can be highly profitable for your campaign. So first up is your brain. And really we're starting with this uh, method because this is how you're going to get those root or foundation keywords. So in our example using a Denver dentist. So our root keywords are going to be dental and then dentist and we also have geography involved. So we might be adding in city keywords such as Denver or Aurora or zip codes for instance around the locations where you live. Next up we're going to have the top level category at services and products. So for us, you know, if you are a carpet cleaner, it'd be carpet cleaning. If you're roofing, roofing, plumbing, plumbing, and uh, those services around that particular industry. So for us, with uh, being a dental practice, we're going to do teeth whitening, a teeth cleaning, cavity, emergency dental, cosmetic dental, kids dental, kids dentist, emergency dentist. So try to think of top level categories uh, that uh, people might be searching for. What we're not looking to do is find any is really write down any long tail keywords. So keywords we want to keep down to either uh, single keywords or uh, just two keywords in that phrase. And once you start your list, now we can go ahead and we'll be taking this and inputting it into the the Google keyword suggestion tool. All right, so we're over on Google. We're going to go to Tools. I should say AdWords. We're going to go to the Keyword Planner. Under find new keywords, we're going to search for new keywords and phrases. We're going to go ahead and paste in the keywords that we had before. And these are going to be the keywords that we brainstormed up real quick. So we have those there. And then we're going to say that, that because I'm targeting Colorado, I'm going to go ahead and put in Denver, Colorado here. And the language I'm targeting is going to be English now. If you're not tied to any specific geolocation, I wouldn't recommend putting in a location. If you are, I would recommend putting that location in because what it can do is it can trigger keywords that revolve around your location. This doesn't mean it's going to, but it has the possibility to. So I'm going to go ahead and get, hit uh, Get Ideas. Now you're going to have two tabs here. One is going to be the Ad Group I Ideas. So we're going to see under Dentistry they have 37 keywords, Emergency Dental 30 keywords, and then if we were to go just under uh, keyword ideas, it's just going to be the keyword information that isn't grouped. Now, what's good about the information being grouped is all the keywords Google are, has already deemed to fit into one particular ad group. So chances are when you go to launch your ad and you have them in those, those tightly niched ad groups, Google says, oh, the, all these keywords are very, very similar to each other. Therefore, uh, you can get a higher higher quality score by having them all together. So, and we'll cover more of that here in a bit. And under just the keyword ideas, you're going to see the search terms, uh, the average search volume. Now, this isn't going to be 2,900 searches for you because, uh, especially, well, I should say for me, because I'm limiting my geographic area just to Denver and uh, uh, around Denver. So the, the keyword volume I want to pay too much attention to, uh, definitely the competition is going to be high in this particular niche. They're saying the suggestion is bid is $13.56 a click. Now, I'm, now, will I end up paying that much? It's highly possible I could. Now, uh, starting off, I pay zero attention to what Google suggests that I, I bid. Now, I, I'll get more into bidding in another video and talk about why I just don't pay attention to that. So moving on, we're going to go ahead and take these keywords and I'm going to go ahead and add each and every one to the plan. So I'm just going to go through and add in 
all uh, 49 groups or 39 groups. Now I'm going to take a second and pause here. So the, the purpose of finding the keywords is twofold. We want to find keywords that we want to bid on and we also want to find negative keywords. And in the next video I'm going to talk more about negative keywords but for this instance we are going to go ahead and add in things such as well you'll look at this well Houston dentist well I have nothing to do with Houston why add it in and I'll show you that in a second uh, as to why we're just constantly adding in all these ones same goes with like individual health insurance clearly you don't want to bid on individual health insurance if you are a dentist but these type of keywords can can really help because you can add these to the negative keyword list and that way you're not wasting some of your budget when you start bidding bidding on broad keyword and again I'll refer to you have to refer you to our, our our keyword video that explains what broad match is what phrase match is and broad match modified now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and download the plan we're gonna go ahead and have it saved as an AdWord editor uh, CVS now you can't include the clicks and impressions uh, and other forecasts until you put in a bid amount. Uh, it really doesn't matter at this point in time because most of these keywords we're not necessarily going to be bidding on. Total we have 800 keywords and on the marketingplaybook.co on the, the page here if you're watching this video on our site we're actually going to have this file there on the site for you to download and you can look through it and then you can compare it to the the file we come up with after we edit everything so this is the file that we have we're gonna see that that this right here is the format that's used to actually import into the AdWords editor tool which uh, again we'll be walking you through later in another video but for now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these we're gonna see that these keywords in dentistry are, are all all have dentistry in them. So moving on, on down, emergency dental, all the emergency dental ones, teeth whitening with teeth whitening. And so what we're doing is, is we're gonna go through here and we're gonna kind of cherry pick a bit and pull out the keywords that we that we know we want to bid on. I can go ahead and leave those in and then I can I can remove ones that 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 won't necessarily match us. So for instance we have emergency dental Omaha. Well clearly I'm in Denver, not Omaha. However, I could use that instead of saying Omaha, we can put in Denver or Aurora or wherever it is your, your city practices from. So I'm actually going to have two lists going here. I'm going to have the keywords that, that I want to modify, and then I'm going to come up with the keywords that I want to add to my negative keyword list. And I'm just going to quickly run through this and pull out a few keywords. So as I go through my list here, these are keywords that I can easily modify. So instead of emergency dental, Omaha, Denver and we'll do Denver Dental Emergency, Emergency Dental Care Denver. Yeah, you get the point. So we can swap out these keywords and just add in our geospecific targeting information or uh, zip code, uh, county, and right here they have Jacksonville, Florida, so it would be Denver, Colorado. So, so you get the picture there of how you can expand and modify these particular keywords, and then I can just dump them right back in to the campaign planner in the ad group they were at before. And right here we have negative keywords, and this is pretty important. We'll cover, again, negative keywords down the road in, in just a few videos, so stay tuned there. But the, we're pulling out keywords that we're not going to want. So clearly, you know, I'm a human practice or pretending to be a human practice here, and uh, uh, I don't service dogs or cats. Uh, hygienists, these are people looking for dental hygienist jobs. And then again, we have jobs and job and school. And, the, the, you know, the worst thing you can do is possibly bid on, let's say, Denver Dental. And if you're bidding on broad and somebody types in Denver Dental School, well, if you're bidding broad or phrase, guess who's showing up for Denver Dental School? You are. And guess how much you're going to be paying for that click? A lot of money. So, so that's why it's so important to come up with these negative keywords even before we launch our campaigns. And we'll give more, more techniques and guides diving in a lot further into negative keywords and how to use those in, in the upcoming video.
Now I know going through, you know, 600 or 800 plus keywords can be pretty intimidating. And that's why, you know, experts make the money that they make. Uh, because, it, you know, I have a lot of spy tools and, and I can go through this stuff and, you know, I do it for a living. So, so it's a lot easier for me than the standard person. Now, you don't have to go and get everything. So you can really, really cherry pick on this and say, okay, dental plans out. Uh, the emergency dentist, yes, because people who want emergency denter, dentists, guess who? They're, guess what? They they want a dentist right here and right now. So if they're if you get that call, chances are they're coming to you. So so you can really cherry pick and just say, you know what? I'm just going to start with you know X Y Z keywords and cherry pick the ones you really really want to go with, and and the ones that you think are going to work best for you. And you can always add on at a later date. So you don't have to come up with those thousand keywords up front. And, uh, you know, just go through it. And, and, you know, ignorance on fire is better than intelligence on ice. I'd rather see you launch a campaign with, with a few, you know, maybe a few, couple dozen keywords than you spending a month trying to find the perfect keywords. Because the, the honest truth is, is you just do not know what keyword's going to convert. And, you know, this is something that I run into with people who've been in, you know, their service industry for 20 years. And they say, well, we know our customers. We know what they're searching for. Well, the truth of the matter is, is you really don't. And, and the, people search the craziest things online. And, you know, it might sound like it has a lot of buyer intent, but you just don't know um, the exact terms that people are searching for that are converting on your website unless you're actually tracking that information. All right, next up is going to be the 24-hour dentist. And go ahead and save that Excel file if you've downloaded it. And uh, um, just pull out a few of those keywords, the, the, the ones that you're kind of cherry-picking. And so what we're going to do is we're going to type in 24-hour and you gotta type it in, you can't paste it. So I see dentist, so we're just gonna type a little bit more and, and that looks pretty good. So right there, we have 24 hour dentist, 24 hour dentist MN, 24 hour dentist Minnesota, uh, 24 hour dental clinic. So, so as you start typing it in, you see what's coming up here is Google's actually showing you keywords that people are searching for. So, so let me see, 24 hour dentist, so I started typing in dental, but if I did dent -ist, yeah, 24 hour dentist near me. So, so you get quite a bit that, that can come up there. And you can tell that, guess where I live, right? So, so this is Google telling me, hey, we know who you are and this is what you want because they know I'm in Minnesota. So they're gonna, gonna show me results uh, that, that I wanna see. So if I go ahead and let me put in uh, Denver Dental Emergency, and then you can scroll down to the very bottom here, and it's what you're going to see right here is you're going to see um, information uh, around people's searches. So this is another way of finding it. So we see, well, there's school again, uh, there's university, there's jobs. So people are definitely searching these these phrases. So so I want to make sure sure that I'm definitely adding those in as my negative keywords. And then here we have Emergency Dentist Denver. So you can go ahead and pick out several of these keywords and just, just kind of follow them, all, uh, follow them along through. So weekend emergency dental care, that's a pretty good one. I, you know, honestly, if, you, if you're if you on the weekends, wow, I, I wouldn't have thought of that. And guess what? I doubt that was actually in our, our Excel sheet. Let me do a search for it real quick and, and find out. Yeah, so there was... There was nothing in here uh, for for that, but I wonder if I did the weekend. So there is a weekend dentist, one keyword, but you, you see what I'm doing there? And clearly if you're not working the weekends, no, that, that wouldn't work for you, right? But you can go through and, and write down the keywords that are really, really uh, um, within your, your, your purview, right? So there's another one. I don't know, I guess there's a Denver in North Carolina. Scrolling down, orthodontist, Denver NC. So we're, we're kind of going backwards a little bit. But uh, you can start over and just redo the search. Scroll down and, you know, see what it starts typing in up here. And pull out those keywords because these are people who are, who are searching particular, specifically for these. 
And so that's why the, the, they're there in the Google suggestion is because people are searching those. And same with down here. These are exact long tail keywords that people are searching for. So this is a fantastic way of going through and pulling out those longer tail keywords and finding more and more keywords uh, that are highly relevant and oftentimes far lower competition when they're down here because not as many people are going to go in and put in that workload uh, to try and find out all these keywords. That's it for this video. Be sure and watch the next one. We're going to uh, give you an introduction to keyword match types, which is very important. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to quality score as well as negative keywords and then get into uh, building ad groups for you. If you like the, the video, be sure and hit the like button, share us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, it, it all helps us. We're doing these videos for free for people. So getting that word out and getting us a little bit of traffic uh, is the best way to say thank you. And I appreciate it.